Okay, it seems like, uh, we got a new side quest here. Would you come over, Traveler? I got something urgent for you. Okay. Uh, it's Zichong again. She went to retrieve those beacons that hasn't been, uh, back since. Also, for those of you who are wondering, this is after the day I completed every single side quest in the chasm. So, this quest is one that continues over the course of multiple days. And this is, like, the second day. I give her three extra hours, knowing that dumb habit she has... Uh, of running around everywhere, but it has at least been five or six hours since. Could you help me look for her? That kid really respects you, so you should have an easier time, and I don't want to have anyone else uh, get in trouble on my watch again. Yeah, what's if her running off like that? Alright, I'll go. Where, she, where might she be? Ah, yeah, silly me. I almost forgot to tell you the most important thing. She probably didn't go too far, but at the same time, where would she go? Alright, don't worry about it, Jinwoo. We'll head over to the places uh, we placed the beacons yesterday first. That's a pretty good call, Paimon. Oh yeah, the beacons. Yeah, I set those up yesterday. <laughs> alright, alright then. If you find her, please inform me as soon as possible. Alright, so go to the five beacon locations. Alright, it shouldn't be too difficult to do this part of the quest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, so I got- so I found her first try, fortunately. But, uh, she's in danger. <laughs> Strike is one. Whew, okay. Uh oh, she's not looking so good. Come on, we gotta get out of here quick. Can you still walk? Don't worry, I'll take you back. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Jinru, and <coughs> don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me like that. Please don't be disappointed in us. <coughs> the Golden City, the Black Watchtower, <coughs> the Heavenly Envoys have left. What's she talking about? Kind of the nonsense, you. Oh, has she been exposed to, like, the black ooze or whatever? Now she's going insane. You spend a great deal of energy getting Jichong back to the camp. Oh, dear. Your dad's given her some medicine, and she's regained consciousness, but she won't tell me anything. You know what happened? How'd she end up like that? She was trapped in the black mud, and we found her. That's right, and we got her out just in time. Uh... Never mind that for now. What Jichong needs is rest. Could you help me deliver this bowl of soup to her while it's so hot? I'm not a very good cook, but I had my fair share of miners, and no one's ever said my fear was bad. Alright, go then. See if she's any better. I have to tell Mooning that Jichong cannot stay underground anymore. Oh dear. Hey, uh, Jichong. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, so you're sorry now, and not when you're running all over the place, huh? Alright, Paimon, give it a rest. <laughs> I, l <laughs> I lost my footing by mistake. Funny, huh? <coughs> nope, it's not funny at all. Is your life really so worth little to you? You need rest. Jinu made you some soup. This soup right here. Jinu made this? Thank you. And please help me thank uh, Jinu and the others too. I'll be fine. I just need to get some sleep and I'll be as good as new. I'm really very sorry. <coughs> Could you please come back in again in a bit? Oh dear. Oh, so we're not done yet, so I have to come back again tomorrow. Alright, so Zhichong is no longer here. What the... Wait, where'd she go? Okay. Uh, Jinwoo, uh, explain. Um, hey Jinwoo, uh, are you doing fine? Uh, yikes, you scared me. So, sorry. Anyways, if you're looking for Zhichong, she, she left. Where'd she go? How was she doing when she left? Um, he dived to the checkup and he said it didn't look too promising. I had a talk with her, but she insisted on leaving. I doubt if could have cowjoled or bro beat her, or even beat her into staying. Ah, uh, I just hope she knows what she's doing. I really do hope so. Uh, right. I have to tell Mooning and get him to organize a search party for that kid. Uh, we'll go to Mooning. Uh, relax a little. Uh, we'll go to Mooning. Oh, that Jichong, she's gone again. Let's get back to the surface and look for Mooning quickly. Oh dear. Jesus. Jichong. She really does not care about her own life at all, does she? She just she's just in it for that adventure, even at the cost of her life. Uh Mooning, Jichong's doing something weird again. Hmm? Jichong's not with you. Words come down from the ministry. On account of the invaluable help that her maps have brought to the Equation Hall. Ministry of Civil Affairs has decided to make an exception for her and, and uh, let me see. Invite her to formally be accepted as a consultant and guide. 
Congratulations to her on in order. It seems that all that running around was sin for not. Uh, she left. I swear to God, if she's dead by the end of this. Left? What do you mean? Do you mean she left? But the Milif didn't tell me if anyone leaving the chasm. Zhishong left the team. Eh? Uh... Wait, wait! Hang on a moment, you, meant, you mean she left the exploration team? As in, Zhishong left the team. Yes! Which part of that didn't you get? I get it, I'll put a search party and rescue... I'll put a search and rescue party together immediately. If she's still in the chasm, we should be able to find her. She might just be doing something airbrained again. Or perhaps she left for another reason. But regardless, we must find her. In her current condition, working away from the team is simply too far too reckless. Need my help? About Jichong. She's a restless one, but whatever the case, we're still friends. I might not be the friendliest person around, but I... I don't simply forget friendships just like that. She's always talking about some big adventurous dream or something, and... She's actually been injured quite seriously several times before. Nearly bit it on one occasion, too. And I and here I thought she'd sat down for a bit. I hope that she'd forgotten about those unrealistic dreams of hers already. Roald, Stanley, it's not all wine and roses with them, you know? Her efforts did produce some results in the end. It's her choice, you know. Um, her efforts did produce results in the end. Results? I think that's a bit too all teary turin. We are very grateful for the maps she, that she drew of large swaths of the chasm, yes. But should intangible illusory things like dreams and pursuing them really come before one's life? I just can't understand it, nor can I imagine anyone really plunging into danger over things like that. As such, please leave the search for her to me. Uh, more accurately, leave it to the middle of the search party. Uh, I'll be there if you need me. Time on two, we can't just leave our junior adventure behind. We'll look out uh, on the road as well. Who knows, maybe we'll bump into her somehow. Oh dear. I, I swear, she's gonna get killed by the end and by the end of this quest line. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I'm guessing we'll have to wait one more day to continue the quest. Or maybe I have to go around the chasm and find her myself. Maybe, I, I don't know. So, Jichang's dropped a letter somewhere in here? Don't tell me she like died and left it behind or something. Go to the teleport point Take near flight. the nail. Look and look for a campfire. Is that it? Is that the campfire? That is the campfire. Oh. <laughs> looks like- looks like someone set up a camp here. Oh, her letter's here. Valor's Afterglow. Wow, that's a really long letter. Seems like Jichung left it here. It's hers, all right. Ah, uh, where's she gone? Let's go ch tell Jin what happened first. What the? Jichung, uh, will we ever see her again? Oh no. Frost glazed crystal. What is this? A glazed crystal produced in the depths of the chasm. This special glazed sand crystal, or was one of the many scattered about during the battle against the, the giant rune machine. Glaze Sand Crystal Ore is a regional specialty of the chasm, but this one's different from the rest. Under the radiance of the blue crystal and the power of the abyss, a strange spiral pattern has emerged within the stone, and it is cold, almost chilling to the touch. This one smooth crystal has been transformed into this shape by the great might that descended from the heavens and the miasma that arose from the earth's depths and perhaps the form it has taken is itself a warning onto mortals if the interaction of these forces alone could twist stone and metal thus if ordinary heroin was truly able to witness the end of the pitch dark path how would she have faced the discovery she would have made oh oh yeah read the letter itself of course oh dear we're in for a oh what Oh, this is the map she made, uh. Okay, let, let's read this. To the exploration team, I'm sincerely sorry for leaving on such a short notice. I'm grateful for your help along the way, but it's a pity I can't keep working together with you. Jinwu, please don't feel upset about my departure. I trust that among all the unbecoming and foolhardy young adventurers that you've looked after, I'm but one hopeless fool. I hope that I haven't been a big headache for you, and that although I've left, 
I've left you with all good memories. If I ever had any family, you'd be the one dearest to me. There are so many stories that I haven't yet had the time to share with you. All I can do is leave some half-finished names on the map. It's a shame that it was done in a haphazard fashion, and I didn't get to carry out much background research or fine-tune the wording. I regret not being able to come up with such better sounding names for you and the others. Anyway, thank you for taking care of me, but I prefer adventuring alone to being looked after by my seniors. Mr. Kadive, please forgive my will willfulness. I understand that you have concerns. Maybe it's just like you said, the secrets hidden in the depths of the chasm are beyond mere mortals. Maybe that's the reason why the exploration took a toll on me, as I am not blessed with a vision. But still, I cannot help wondering if those famed adventurers like Leonard, Stanley, and Roald have ever witnessed the same marvel as I, the stone halls of old crawling into the darkness, the dark purple mud gushing out like lava, the translucent azure crystals floating in the air, the damaged stone tablet carved with maps of ancient places and so many other indescribable wonders. Would those great adventurers have backed out for fear of danger, or would they have act acted as recklessly as I, persisting in pursuit? of the inscrutable secrets of the world, even at the price of their common and less dignified lives. Mr. Kodive, as a scholar, and also as a mere moral like me, what would your choice be in such a circumstance? Kotofo, please accept my apology for my previous distrust and willfulness. I do not have it in for you, despite your annoying sneaky treasure hoarder background, impoliteness to Jinwu, lack of hygiene awareness when making drinks, complete disregard to the safety or safety regulations of the ministry, and reluctance to heed our warnings, no matter the scenario. In spite of all your faults, I don't think they really matter to me. As your friend, I regret not being able to meet you earlier. Man, she's just apologizing to everybody. Uh, Mooning. I'm sorry, uh, but I won't be reporting in at my post. Thank you for all your efforts in helping me land a job in the ministry. Without you, I would have been thrown out of the chasm the moment I entered it. Maybe the official offer from the ministry will arrive after my departure. Please keep it for me. I will treat you to dinner if I ever come back, and don't you forget it, oh dear. And then Traveler. Thank you for everything on this trip. You gave me good advice and came to my rescue. For that, I'm forever grateful. It's a shame I don't know how to how I can repay you. As someone blessed by the gods, you, you're bestowed with elemental powers that will aid you in your adventures. Although I might never know the answer, I still wonder how you regard us as mere mortals. In ancient times where heroes and yakshas fought alongside Rex Lapis, when colossal boulders were half to form mountains, when giant rocks were cast from the skies to create seabeds. What was the place of the mere mortals like us, whom the gods had neither noticed nor recognized? What are our mundane loves and hatreds, mundane happiness and tragedies, mundane achievements and accomplishments, mundane bonds and relationships? Are all these of something of no consequence in the eyes of the gods? Are ancient dwellings of the gods and those unfathomable scenes really far beyond the reach of commonplace human courage? It may seem disrespectful to ask these questions when Rex Lapis has only just left us. But when compared with the chosen ones who have gained the gods' blessings by chance, what are we mortals, are, what are we mere mortals, unnoticed by the gods, to make of ourselves? We've also obtained dreams by chance and we keep pursuing them throughout our busy, bustling lives. We don't want to be forgotten, and that, and for that, we strive hard to make even the slightest difference, or hang tough through laborious work every day with the courage of an ordinary human. Are all these acts of no meaning? Think of those herb gatherers who dangle from the top of the cliffs, miners who work, work day in and day out despite the potential threat of earthquakes, and workers who drive every nail into a giant ship, multiple floors in height. If their hard work is dismissed as mundane and unworthy of remembrance, I can't help but question the god's logic to favor some of our wishes and dignities over others. Oh boy. With such questions in mind, I follow you into the uncertainty and danger in the depths of the chasm, pushing my limits as a mere mortal. I wouldn't say 
that I've conquered or explored the area, but I hope I can at least put the chasm into the map that I've drew and edited. I want to mark the places that I've been to and varying and the varying scenes in the chasm with names that belong to mortals, names that belong to me. For lack of a smarter solution, I believe that this is the only way to inspire those who come after me. I want to tell them how far someone who was not chosen by the gods can go and what stories she may leave behind. Please not worry for me, my journey has only just begun. Once I am done taking a breather, I will march deeper in. Thank you for helping me clear the path ahead. I will continue venturing into the depths of the chasm until my strength fails me. Good luck my fellow teammates, I hope that we shall meet again on our journeys in the near future. Wow. And this is the map she made. Wow. Oh dear. That is not good. She's gone deeper into the chasm. Deeper how though? There's nowhere else to go from here. Unless she found a way. Unless you're telling me like the chasm's gonna expand even further in the future. I guess it wouldn't surprise me if they did that, like expand the chasm. Anyways, we have to report back to Jinru well, about this. It's a pity that she didn't realize that the Traveler wasn't blessed by gods and have elements as is. 2.7 is chasm as well. 2.7 is related to the chasm. The oh, oh yeah, of course. Of course. Because Yellen appeared in the side quest in the chasm. Of course, he's going to have something to do with this place. Of course, yeah. So 2.6 is our opportunity to explore the chasm. Then 2.7, we're actually, like, the chasm is going to be, like, a main plot point. For, like, some events and whatnot. This, yeah, there's probably going to be a 2.7 event that takes place in the chasm. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, let's report to Jinwoo and tell her the, the bad news. Jinwoo, we found this! Alright, alright, what did you find? Does it have anything to do with uh, Jichong's whereabouts? It's a letter she left behind. She says she's gone deeper into the chasm. Thank you, let me see what she's written real quick. Jinwoo reads the letter carefully. This girl, I've never really considered... Issues this big, so I really can't criticize her life choices. But perhaps, perhaps I didn't acknowledge her discoveries in time, or give her as much respect or understanding as I should have. It would have been immeasurably more difficult to complete our exploration without her maps. But it only showed concern for her health instead of focusing on her hard work and what she'd done so much to achieve. Uh, how did I not realize her work was always different from that of us miners? She doesn't want to be. She just doesn't want to be forgotten. Well, don't we all, pe as people who aren't favored by the gods, don't we all, but has anyone been as obsessed as her? And yet, when I think about the moment when I gave up any thoughts of becoming great, when I realized I'd gotten too used to living day to day, day to ordinary day, I feel like I just don't have the right to judge Jong. Wow. Okay, let me talk to the other members and see what they say. Uh, you say perfectly not perfectly the same. <laughs> How about you, Talisan? Uh, yeah, you probably don't say anything different. Oh boy, so she's gone deeper into the chasm. Whether or not she lives is probably... Maybe that's gonna be a continuation to this war quest. I have a feeling that she might get a vision from such an ambition. That's possible, yeah, that she will, like, after pushing herself this far, the gods will acknowledge her and grant her a vision. That'd be sick. Like witnessing somebody being granted a vision. Because, yeah, for all these characters, we've seen, like when we first met them, they already had a, their vision to begin with. So it'd be cool for us to, like, find a character that, that, we, that we witness, like, gets a vision. Okay, Mooning. Uh, says nothing different. Okay. I'm guessing Klosopo is not going to say anything different either. Oh, about Chichong. She's not a bad person, but she's far too obstinate. I don't know why she's in a hurry too. If it were me, I'd be ducking over for cover at the first sign of danger. Ah, never mind. I just pray for her safety. Well, that's nice, at the very least. <laughs> Damn, so... So she's just... Yeah, she went deeper into the chasm, and it's just missing. Is there is there any further continuation to this, or is this just it? Also, let me look at that achievement. Uh, I've got Valor's Afterglow. Where lies the true meaning of adventure? Ah, so he's gone off on her own again. 
to yeah to try and prove to the to the gods, not not to the gods, to people, to be an inspiration to the people who were not blessed by the gods, who were not given a vision. Wow, I do hope she's safe though. I hope she like isn't dead by the next time we like find her, if we find her. And yeah, that's about it for this quest. Jichong remains missing until we get an update or something.